Hello, this is Doretta Augustine, and I was going to show you some tricks that I've learned um, of how to use Jamboards uh, as a chemistry teacher. It's a little tricky because we have all of these subscripts and superscripts and all of these things that we're trying to do. So when you first open a Jam, it's pretty blah, and you have various tools um, that you can use, like sticky notes and images and shapes and text boxes. But it sometimes is a little bit daunting about how to make it work. So I'm going to show you one that I created here. And this was a model compounds lab. And I always insert a little bitmoji, if I can, of myself doing something. And then here, my instructions are just a series of text boxes. And then when you go to the next page, what I've done is I've given the kids, I've changed my background um, to a color so it looks a little bit more interesting. And then I put in t sticky notes with directions. And then there's a couple of ways that you can get to subscripts. So one way is you can create a text box and I am writing in white, I believe, yeah, so that you'll be able to see it. And so let's say I put in, I'm trying to write the formula for water. If I put in my H, there's no good way to get a subscript unless you have a spreadsheet that has all of the subscripts. So for instance, here, I'm going to control C copy, and then I'm going to go over, and this is the Unicode subscripts. I'll go back and I can hit um, control V and I get my subscript and then I can put in my O for water and I can shrink this and I can make it bigger. And that's kind of cumbersome because the kids, if they're trying to write formulas as well, they have to have this crazy spreadsheet as well. It's not really user friendly. So another thing I found I can do is I can take a sticky note and let me just show you. This is just your garden variety sticky note. And this is another garden variety sticky note. Make it a different color. And this is a sticky note. And this is a sticky note. I'll make this yet another color, different color. So what I've done here is I've gone in and I've put in my symbols and my subscripts. And these are just sticky notes that I've made smaller. So then what I did was I tell the kids, you can set your background to no color. And that allows you to have some control over it. And you can also actually send things forward and back. And so I just go in and I make no background. And that way, then the kids are able to um, write formulas for me without having any fancy stuff. The other thing I wanted to point out, and I'm going to show you some other things that I've done with this. Here, you can use the subscripts, um, the Unicode subscripts, and write them. The only problem with this is if your students are opening up on an iPad, the iPads don't recognize the subscripts. And what happens is they get question marks instead. Same thing goes for arrows. So even though you can get to these subscripts, it doesn't always work. Another thing you can do is just use your um, snipping tool and copy your information that way and include it in, you know, insert it into your text box, but it doesn't always work. So then I wanted to show you another one that I've developed for doing reactions. And so what I've discovered is I can use text box and I can use my sticky notes. But here what I've done is when the kids are doing stuff, the sticky notes and the text boxes move around. So what I actually have here is this one reactant multiple products. This is actually a snip. So what I do is I go in, create things in Word or in my slides or PowerPoint, whatever, and then I use the snipping tool and save them as an image. And then in background, you can go in and you can insert these images. And so if I go here and find 
my various SNPs here, these are all of my various SNPs. And that allows you to set up um, backgrounds. And that then gives you a nice background that you can put your instructions or you can put in the case here my worksheets in. And so what I've done here is I've created a whole bunch of stickies and kids are going to be predicting product. So when I took my worksheet and snipped it, I made sure that I had enough room for kids to, for instance, insert their coefficients, which are going to be sticky notes. And again, I've just done this as a series of snips. And so I was going to show you with another jam here um, how you would do that. So let's say I wanted to insert from my same thing. Let's say I was going to be doing combustion. So let me see if I can find my combustion. Predict combustion one. So let's say I wanted to make that part of my jam board. There it is. And then if I was going to um, move along and insert more worksheets, I would do the same thing. So I could just go in and show you what that would look like. So here is, let's see if I can find combustion. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of these. Um, here it is, combustion one. So there are problems that I'm going to have the kids work on. And then up here, I would put a text box in and explain what I want them to do. Predict, for instance, and it would be right there. And what I found is once you've created one worksheet, and I'm going to go to this predicting one that I had before, and you've made all of your sticky notes, then what you can do is you can just make a new version of this. So create a copy and then you don't have to redo all of these tiresome sticky notes. It makes it like super easy to insert. And um, the other thing I wanted to show you is going back to my untitled jam. I took a picture of what happens if you insert subscripts and superscripts. Um, like I was showing you how to do using the um, uni Unicode characters. When you open it up on a phone or on an iPad, and I have a lot of kids that open things up on iPads, what happens is everywhere there was a subscript, you end up with a question mark. And in this case, this particular arrow was actually made using typing characters. But if I were to insert an actual arrow, it would show up as a question mark as well. So I just wanted to show you that it's actually pretty easy to manipulate within this format if you take some tricks and use them. And in the case of the predicting products one, I've actually just taken my worksheets that already exist, added some spaces, and then snipped them so that I can then insert them in and each page is a couple questions that the kids can then predict and they can write on these with their touch screens or they can type in using the sticky note system. And then what I usually do is I ask them at the end, whatever particular one they're working on, how they feel about it. And I just get these from a, um, an image search. So I just go in and I'll do a Google image search and I'll do smileys, for instance. Smiley face. And then I'll just pick one. So if they're not sure or if they're happy, and then I'll just insert it. And my students so far seem to have fun with these. Sometimes they make them ginormous. Sometimes they give me a little sticky note alongside of it that says, I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I think that these jam boards give you an opportunity to see the kids work. And then you can go in and as they're working on them, when you uh, assign them in Google Docs, you make a copy for each student. So then the kids will message me 
in the Zoom chat and say, can you come into slide seven and show me what I'm doing? And so you can kind of jump in and out and help them. So anyway, I hope you find this helpful. This is Doretta, and I'm going to sign off.